Hello, my name is Tavish and in this video we will be introducing you to some of the basic concepts of probability. Starting with what is probability? Probability is a numerical way of describing how likely something is going to happen. When I say something, it can be any event, it can be tossing a coin or it can be pulling a card from a deck. How do we describe this probability? As I said, probability is a number and it has a lower and upper bound. The lower bound being zero, which is the probability of an impossible event. On the counter side, the probability one event are certain, which will always happen. Taking some examples, sun rises in west in India has a probability of zero. Obviously, it cannot happen and hence the probability will remain zero. If I move this needle further, uh, an event which has a probability between zero to half is winning a jackpot in a lottery. Now, when I take a lottery ticket, I take a single ticket and there are millions of tickets in the market. So, if all the tickets have a similar chance of winning, I have lesser than fair chance or lesser than half chance of winning this lottery neither my event is impossible and hence the probability lies between zero and half taking an event with a probability of half getting heads on tossing a coin when i toss a coin it can only have two outcomes heads or tails and hence probability of getting a heads is half half to one is simple so this event can be just the counter event of something which we just described for an event between zero to half which was winning a lottery so losing a lottery will always be between half to one because it is not certain obviously that you will lose neither is it fair lastly coming to a certain event which is something like christmas will be on 25th of december now this is a certain event, it will always happen and hence the probability is 1. Coming to some of the terminologies, experiments, a repeatable procedure that yields one of a given set of outcomes is called an experiment. For example, tossing a coin, rolling a dice, these all are experiments. Sample space, this set of outcomes from which we are getting the final outcome is the sample space so for a die the values from 1 to 6 are all sample space coming to event every time i repeat the experiment it is an event so say i roll a dice and i get more than four now this is an event it can be a favorable event or it can be an unfavorable event we will cover that later in our slides. Calculating probabilities. Probability of an event is a ratio of favorable events and total events. And how do we calculate this probability? There are three tools of calculating probability. The first tool is permutation and combination. Let's take an example. How do we calculate probabilities using permutation and combinations? Here is a question. Probability of choosing two girls from a group of two boys and two girls. Say I want to choose two students out of this group. Uh, I want to find that what is the probability that these two students will be both girls. Favorable events is 2C2 because I am choosing two girls from the two available girls. The 2C2 figure is always 1. Uh, if I see the total events, it is 4C2 because I am choosing two people or two students out of four students. 4C2 is 6. Now probability of choosing two girls is the ratio of these two numbers as given by this formula which is 1 by 6. So this is how we calculate probabilities using PNC. Coming to set theory, here is a question. Choosing a number less than 3 out of first four positive integers. Now, when I say first four positive integers, this is my universe, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Favorable events is 1 and 2, which are 2 in numbers. Total events 
R4, which I just mentioned in the universe. And probability of choosing a number less than 3 is 2 by 4. So the probability comes out to be 1 by 2. Coming to the last tool, which is predictive modeling. Now, this is a complex concept, and we'll be covering them in some of our later slides. Let's take an example. What is the probability of BJP winning an election in 2014? So this is a question which you need to address using predictive modeling. Now for predictive modeling, you have a set of inputs. So these inputs help the model identify what is the right probability for the event to happen. So here the inputs are exit polls, last election campaigns, campaign budget, etc, etc. So these inputs will tell my model that whether my probability is inclined towards BJP or it is inclined against BJP. In this case, say I get a number which is 4 by 5 for BJP winning the election. So using a predictive model, you will always end up with a probability which will tell me whether the inclination is towards the event happening or against that event. Thank you for watching this video.